and welcome back to my channel. I uh, guess I should say welcome back to my selfish vlogs. I haven't been here in forever, like a long time. I'm really sorry about that. I've had some computer issues and some camera issues, but I think we've gotten most of the bugs worked out. So I'm going to try making regular balloon videos again. Now, I've changed things up a bit. I don't know if you've noticed. If you prefer things to happen the way this is set up, and me as me, not as Raspberry, just let me know. If you'd rather I go back to being Raspberry, I'd be happy to do that as well. And just, again, let me know in the comments. Now, from the thumbnail, I'm sure a lot of you already know we are making a cute little Santa. I've personally had issues with Santa Claus out and about doing gigs because especially like ones where you have to be quick line work so I've created the Santa like three balloons and a scrap so hopefully it will help you create a faster Santa and kids seem to love him so far so I hope your the kids you guys see will like them too now the first balloon we use is a quick link so it's got both little nuts and it's about it's about I blew it up about the size of my hand it's still a little squishy now what you want to do is you want to make sure that the knot is at the very like cl as close to the end as possible so when you squish it it looks like a pear squishy 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 just like that and then your second balloon you're gonna want is about a white balloon 260 and you want it about four fingers at the end and then what we're going to do is we're going to do about a three finger flower petal and then another three finger flower petal so these are going to be the cheeks of our santa and what we're going to do is we're going to take our two our sorry our quick link Squish it up like this, and then we're going to twist it in the middle. So now we have the top for his hat, and the bottom for his squishy belly. And we're going to wrap those into the cheeks. So, now, let's turn him right side up. So this is going to be his hat, squishy belly, and his cheeks. Now what we want to do is we want to do two pinch twists at the front. So we want to do one pinch twist. I'll come a little closer. So we'll have one pinch twist just like this. And then we'll do a second pinch twist right beside it. Just like that. So now we have just two cheeks and two pinch twists. And those two pinch twists are going to be his eyes. Then we're going to come down and we're going to do a five finger flower petal and then this is going to be his beard. So, like, put five fingers there, put that in, and then wrap it in and around. And then just situate everything nicely. Just like that. Now what I all oh, so we got the two eyes and the beard. And what I also like to do is I like to do a pinch twist at the back, just to sort of keep everything in place. So just like that. And then we can break this part off. <laughs> He's a screaming Santa. And then just hide all of this part. And then for the rest of this, I like to keep this part and just make a little ball. So at this face, and then tie that onto the top of his hat, just like that. So now he's got a little hat. Okay. So again, we got two cheeks. Oh, I guess we should that one up a bit. So two cheeks, two eyes, and a beard. And then what I like to do is I like to take a scrap. This is my scrap. So you can use either pink or blush, whatever works best for you. Or whatever you have lying around. And then you tie this in underneath those eyes. 
So now we have a little eye for that. Then you want to take a black 260. I like to give it two times this. Oh, that one was very big. So two pinch twists, and then we're going to do two three finger flower petals again. Just like that. At which point we'll create a little bow tie. <laughs> or if you Santa, this will bake his boots. So we just wrap in the bottom of the quick link right into that. And then that will create little boots for him. Now, if you want, you could totally be done here. And that creates like a little Santa wand and kids would love that. Or you could turn the rest of the black into, hold on, we'll just get rid of this part here. You can turn the rest of the black into its quilts. Now for that, we don't need much. We just need about eight fingers. Tie that off, and then we're gonna put this right in and underneath it here. Now, again, you do not need to do this part. So, we're gonna turn this into a flower petal, just top of it, and wrap it around, bring it underneath his other cheek, and then turn that into a flower petal as well. Just like that, and wrap that around the back of the spear. And then you have the cute little Santa. Now for the artwork. Just the artwork left. So I like to give him two little buttons right here. I don't know if you can see this. So we'll go one round little button. Two round little buttons. Just like that. And then we'll do his eyes. So there's one eye, and then we'll give him a second eye. Perfect, just like that. And then you can give him a little mouth on his beard like that as well. And then we have a cute little Santa. Now, Santa is great for Christmas time, but I like there is a cute little gnome that you can turn this into as well. Now I'm going to do things a little different. Like I'm not going to do the eyes and so it's the eyes that aren't going to be done. And then I'm going to do, I'm not going to do the little hands and I'm going to do something different with the, with the hat, but most of it is the same. So I'm going to do most of it really quickly so that you can just sort and then just slow down around the parts where the change. So we start with the beard as normal. Oh, I didn't tie this knot at the end enough. You just roll that knot down and then you'll get the hat. Okay, so at this point, instead of doing the two pinch twists first, you just go straight into that five finger, bop, uh, five finger flower bottle. And then you wrap that in and around the back. And then at this point, you want to give it another pinch twist at the back, just to keep everything in place. And then break that off again. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this at the top once again. And we're gonna make a little note at the top. Little hat. Okay, so it's really not much different than Santa so far. So there's no eyes and that's about it. Everything else is the same. So we're going to go with, we're gonna do the feet. Same thing, just oops. three flower, three finger flower petals again. And then use the bottom of the quick link. Wrap that in. I'm just gonna leave the bottom on so it's like one this time. Just so you can see the difference. 
I'm using a blush strap for my nose this time instead of pink. Because he's probably not as cold, honestly, out there in the garden. So for a no, this would be more than enough. You would be good with this. Or you can take a second scrap, a green one. So I like to add two little pinch twists just so it keeps things stable. Stretch it out. And then what you want to do is you want to put it just at the bottom of his hat here. Wrap it all the way around to the back. And then twist those together. Make sure you squeeze that right down into the bottom. And then you have a little gnome. Now you really don't have to do any artwork with this and it's perfectly adorable and cute. The only thing I would suggest is if you had scissors or cutting things, just cut this, these ends off and it would be perfect. But so there, we have Santa and a little gnome. I hope you guys like these designs. Um, let me know in the comments. And if you want to see me do anything else, just let me know and I'd be happy to make up designs for them too. Well, thank you for watching.